All right, this is the Sony FS5 Mark II. And uh, autofocus is not bad, guys. This camera still rocks. <laughs> okay, got me, got me. Let's see. Today we are talking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, 6K and the 6K Pro. Okay, you got them, that's nice. Um, would you be able to get back to me now when I walk in the shop? Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time. And today, we want to figure out some little differences, whatever they are. And we're going to start by um, recording both cameras without Andy's on the 6 Pro. Just to get an idea of the picture quality before Gen 5 comes to the 6K, um, we want to see what we are really gaining, okay? Uh, but once again, in, I'm outside the house. I can't go nowhere. The kids are inside. That's as, as far as I can get away from them. So bear with me. It's going to be a simple test, but at least we'll get to get an idea what we are getting from Gen 5. So we're going to be comparing both camera sizes and just to know what the differences are because I've really never seen a Siski and a Siski Pro side by side. So also I got information about battery life. I got some update about battery life and you don't want to miss all that and more coming up. Okay, still playing with the autofocus of the FS5 Mark II. Can it stay on me? Yes, it can. Let me move these guys over. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we, I'm, I'm gonna use the same lens. I don't have two of the same lens. I wish I did, but uh, that's what is gonna happen today. Um, yeah, the Sigma 18 to 35. I'm starting on, on the CISK, turn on the battery. Here I'm using the external Samsung T5, CFAST for this and then um, S SSD for this one. All right, I think we'll go inside now and see and, and see what we got. I'm, well, I'm going to be shooting at 35 um, millimeters on both cameras because one is uh, 18 to 35, the Sigma, and the other is the Zeiss um, MNG, the Zeiss uh, 70, uh, 35 to 70 at 3.4. Um, now let's talk about the issues. Was first of all that the picture profile was too flat for the Cisco Pro. Um, however, I expected it to give uh, 
a better result, but I'm not quite impressed. Uh, I think something is wrong. Something needs to be taken care of. Now, let's take a look at uh, the physical bodies of these cameras, both side by side. Let us do boot up time. Let's see if there's some difference in in the start up time, okay? One, two, go. Oh, pretty much the same time. So I had to take it inside and I connected both to the power source and turned them off why the power source was disconnected and i connected them so the power flowed to them the same time i can't remember my physics very well but i expect that they will get the same current the same time i expect that the newer camera to be uh, a lot faster it was in some cases it wasn't in others so something is not consistent here the brightness test was from someone who wanted to know what the time would be like 100% brightness and 50% brightness without even recording. Please let me know why you wanted that uh, test carried out. However, here it is. When I got the first results, I kind of, uh, yes, these results were not consistent with the initial readings that I had. So, I uh, figured it out, the ND filter was on. So I had to make another reading again without ND filters and I got something close to real. But then again, these are almost the same results I got when, the, when recording in 6K. Now without recording, just turning the camera on, it looks like we're getting the same results. That is it guys. I hope you guys learned something. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more coming. My EVF just arrived. And I want to thank you guys for uh, subscribing. Those of you jumped on the channel recently, I appreciate your fact. Um, I appreciate your feedbacks too. Uh, you guys let me know what's up. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe as always. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.